Alright guys, I'm back home and I was welcomed by a mountain of packages. Like so many packages. So I'm going to unbox these really quickly because I my apartment is too small to just have all these boxes piled up in here and not like, you know, go through them. So we're going to do a little unboxing today. We just get a trash bag handy because... When it comes to PR, there's always just so much like packet, you know, like paper and this one is from, don't know, Trachtenberg Co. Oh, I know exactly what this is. Um, she reached out to me. So it's one of these like clip on fringe bangs thingy sis system that I actually cannot wait to try out. Um, it was like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's the little fringe clip on thing that Khloe Kardashian posted about not too long ago. So she asked if I wanted to receive it. I'm assuming that she saw like my pixie cut video and I was, I think I explained that I really wish I had like more of a bang area. So <laughs> she blessed me because I really was considering purchasing one. This next one by JDW. It's on the title here. Ow. I literally just cut myself. So, you guys know JBW is, you know, always sponsoring the girlies, the it girlies. But to be honest, I wasn't a big fan of their watches initially because they're always so big. And I do not like big watches because my wrists are really, really small. Um, so, I was waiting for them. Sorry, I literally cut my finger and it's bleeding. Okay, I was waiting for them to come out with a smaller face watch and they did. And I immediately was like okay i'm ready to work with you guys now but not really work with they're just they just gifted it to me um so yeah oh it's so tiny and cute okay so this is the watch and it's just this little little tiny baby here and it's so adorable right little tiny one and you guys can't really see how small it is on camera but it's actually really really small this one is from amika water sign it's a hair oil this these next these two are from zara which i will be doing a zara haul so i'm just gonna put this to the side zara haul um this package i know is for a job that i'm doing it's for a job that i'm doing also i think and it's kind of heavy though all right this next one i think is from Yes, I know who this is. This is from Polen. I actually reached out to them to get another bag, which I really have a good relationship with them. And I got another bag. It's a bigger style bag. Oh, I know exactly what this is, and I actually forgot about these. These are some jeans from Mont and Bao. I ordered these, I can't even tell you how long ago. I actually forgot to check on them, but I ordered two pairs of jeans. You guys know I'm not a jeans fan anymore. I'm definitely into dress pants now, but um, my favorite jeans to wear if I should spend money on jeans or wear jeans is Mont and Bao because do you see the quality? Like, let me just go to the camera. Like, you guys see the quality of these? Like, they are so nice. They have a nice little stretch to them. I did get a 26. Yes, I think that should be good because they do stretch. Every time I get a 27, I always regret it because it doesn't fit like as snug as I want to. So yeah, I just got two pairs. I love them. I just got the lighter wash, which is good for like, you know, certain looks. And then the dark blue for those, you know, looks and stuff. Steve Harvey's. Steve Harvey. Levate Le 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 you, what? I don't know what this is. Oh, Daily Greens. Interesting. I'm actually very curious. <laughs> it's literally a Steve Harvey thing. Oh, it's just greens. Okay, so it's Daily Greens. A little cup. A hat, which I will not be wearing. But greens. I'm actually interested. Most exciting one is by Mac. Did not know that I was on their PR. Wow. And I am okay. Oh wow. Oh, and it's actually skincare. And we already know that Mac skincare is very much like <laughs> always the stuff that I couldn't afford when I used to go in there, you know. 
but it's very fitting because I'm very into skin prep these days, like the prepping the skin before you actually put your makeup on. MAC Hyper Real High Performance Skin Care. So cute. This is actually so beautiful, and I'm actually gonna add this to my home decor. Really, really great. Oh wow. So this is a ceramizer, a, a canvas cleansing oil, a balm. Um, okay, I feel like this needs to be in its own video. Yeah. Oh wow, it's actually it's stunning. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Like, let me go put it down right now. I got a bunch of things from Zara because I have a couple things going on and I just wanted to get my looks ready for those things. Um, I got these shoes and now that they're here, I'm just like, where am I going in this? Like, where would I genuinely wear this to? Genuine question, like, where am I wearing this to? You see, I would be down to wear these if they were at least comfortable, but they're, they're not. Final Zara box. Okay, so I got these um, sweaters that are so like amazing. I, <laughs> I got them in a medium, but I kind of wish I got them in a small now, but they're gonna have a little drape, so I guess it's fine. To dinner, let's get ready. I literally only have a 25 minute to do my makeup which is kind of stressing me out, but I honestly love to watch these videos on TikTok, so I decided to make my own. Um, I'm just priming my skin with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic. Actually, products will be mentioned later. Let's just do what we need to do. Going in with the color correct right now. So we're going to this place called the Standard Grill for dinner. Um, they invited me to check out their restaurant week menu, so I've invited my friend, and she's actually almost here. It's very rare that she's ready before me. Very rare. I've decided to cancel that TikTok and switch over to vlog style because I, I just I just can't right now. I just can't. I need to focus on my makeup, focus on getting ready because we don't have a lot of time. And you guys know me. When I rush, I feel like I get like really anxious and everything just gets messed up. Um, so it is 6.40. Right now, our reservation is at 8.00. It takes about 25 to 30 minutes to get to the place from here and I'm factoring traffic in that time. It's a lot quicker to get there, but you have to always factor in traffic, especially when you're coming from where I live because there's always traffic by the tunnel. So yeah, um, makeup is almost done and Renee is almost here. Um, she has just been like on time late lately. I'm so proud of her because literally she is just, you know, never on time. But I think she's on time because it's like she knows it's because I'm working. It's like a work thing, which she usually is on time for my work stuff. Like she's very respectful of that, which I really appreciate. Because in all honesty, it's like, you know, like, I'm very grateful to be getting invited to, um, you know, to even come to your restaurant to eat for free and being able to like bring a friend. I mean, I'm very grateful. I don't want them to think I'm like disrespectful, you know? And I definitely just use my blush brush with my setting powder to set to my face. And honestly, at this point, let's just hope for the best. Let's just hope for the best here. I mean, I also have to film a TikTok before I go out. Um, okay, she's almost here. Just checking on Renee. She said that her Uber driver was being a little bit weird. Renee doesn't take Uber as much um, as I do, so I guess what, that's why she's a little bit more um, nervous. But you guys know me. I stay in an Uber because I don't drive. Um, so I uber a lot and when I feel like taking public transportation, I kind of opt for the New Jersey transit If I'm in New Jersey, New York subway really scares me still um, Obviously, I'll take it if I literally have no choice like I have zero choice This is the only way for me to get home. I will take it Well, I'm scared. 
nervous. I was oh my god, I was just telling them a story. I was like, Renee's a little bit nervous in her Uber, but I know it's because you don't take Ubers. No. So I, I feel like you just like you're not an Uber yeah. taker. Okay, tell no, them. It was Go tell them scary. the story. No, well, see, I don't want it to sound crazy, but guys, I'm in the Uber, right? I get in, everything's normal. This man keeps turning around with his full body. <laughs> He's driving. Look at me up and down. <laughs> Look at me up and down. So I'm like, huh, okay. So I put my headphones in because I'm like, don't talk to me, sir. He gets on the phone. He's talking in Spanish, whatever. He's doing his own thing. Then I notice he slowed the whole car down. So I turn my music down and he's like, Renee? Renee? I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay, never mind. I'm like, whoa, all right. <laughs> So that's what I text Fabian because now I'm weirded out. He's looking at me in the thing. He's talking on the phone on speaker, but he's speaking in Spanish. And I don't know Spanish. So then he he keeps looking back and then he goes, "You know Spanish? You speak Espanol?" I'm like, "No, I should have lied." <laughs> Say mm, poquito. I should have said poquito. But honestly, I mean, my poquito wasn't poquitoing in that moment because yeah. I know a little a little something. <laughs> but it, he was talking so quickly. So then. I'm like, no, he kind of laughs, and then he continues to talk in Spanish. So I'm like, okay, whatever, like, no big deal, like, but what's creeping me out is because on my GPS, I put it in, too, and he's going a different way, like, no matter what, my thing keeps recalculating. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I was so scared. But then, um, I told him to keep his eyes on the road, and he laughed at me. Do you have, um, any, like, self-defense things in your bag? Yes, and you know what's so crazy about this? I never, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> it's to break the window. Is it? Yeah. It was in this pocket, which I think is just so weird. But when I found it, I was happy. I'm like, I'm if like, if he had reached over to grab you, I what would, would you have done? In the neck? Um, you would have faced, you know, you know what AJ told me? Because I had a self defense tool that could have quite possibly, you know. He says, you know, if you were to defend yourself with that, you will be tried as man, or you, you would have murdered, you would have killed. A lot later now but we're at dinner I'm with Ree she's behind the camera currently but this is the outfit jumpsuit naked wardrobe coat from where's this coat from I wore it the other day anyways Polen the mini version and watch JBW <laughs> Alright guys, so we're at the standard grill. We just order some, some food and stuff. Just kind of get some content. Um, yeah, but we're here. Um, it's kind of awkward. It's kind of crowded in here. But like, Renee's being a trooper and taking pics for me and everything. So, yeah. I don't know where to put you guys. Um, and the lighting is red, I'm sorry. I feel like we always get the same old oyster and the same old like ceviche if we wanted, but it was out of stock. But yeah, these pancakes come highly um, recommended, so yeah. I think a flash of me like doing the butter part and then putting it into my mouth. Lower the brightness, you got it? All right, bring it to my mouth now. Wednesday to be exact As you guys know, I just got home yesterday. So I basically Just you know unboxed my things my packages and went to do my hair and then quickly had to um just you know go and Go to the city for that thing. Oh, you guys can't even see my face. Hi uh, I'm just cleaning honestly because I want to just make the apartment look a really like a lot Sorry, I even just wiped down over here. I just want the apartment to look a lot like I want it to be clean because You know, I'm not really 
here to do like my weekly clean as much so just a lot of dusty surfaces going on as well as just you know things not being exactly where i want them to be so i'm just straining up um these two things are pr um actually after we left i got another package um from ysl beauty what the main mess is on my kitchen counter to be honest i have this big garbage bag here it's just with um just just a bunch of products um candle old, old candles that have burned out um shampoo stuff that i'm no longer going to be using on my hair because it's about time that i start investing in quality shampoo and conditioner for my hair so it can you know be healthier um and stop with the foolishness because at this point it's giving lazy it's giving lazy it's giving careless like you know i also got groceries because we're going to be home for a while so let me show you what i got so for groceries i got some organic brown eggs I got some Mexican cheese because I'm kind of in an omelet mood, so I'm going to be making omelets this week. I got some maple and brown sugar oatmeal, which is my fave. Also got some Rice Krispies treat cereal because, I don't know, I just had a good craving for it, which is like so childish, I know, but <laughs> um, I also got some turkey bacon. I got some thyme. I got three things of Uncle Uncle Ben. I'm sorry, why am I saying Uncle Ben's? J just Ben. Ben's original brown rice. This is the instant one where you just kind of like microwave it. Um, I think I might do some meal prep. But me, Cam, I mean, I like cooked brown rice. I don't know why. I'm just not, this is not my thing. So I just did that and got some Himalayan pink salt. I got some rushed um, red peppers. Um, I got some minced garlic. And I got some black pepper. I got some scallion. Some red pepper. I'm sorry. Some uh, green bell pepper. I got some honey crisp apples. I'm going to put over here. Um, a red onion. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got this big thing of jasmine rice. So I could refill my rice because I'm running low on pretty much everything. Let's start refilling. This is my rice. I need to refill my pepper flakes. This is actually really hot. Like, actually, really hot. keeping my seasonings here because it just makes cooking easier it's not the most aesthetically pleasing setup but it's extremely functional so i'm gonna get started on shooting content now my bedroom is nice and dark so it looks like it's morning or early morning time in there so i'm just going to get my content started i do film a, a majority of my reels and stuff on my iphone just have to make sure that I wipe it. And this is a tip that people oftentimes forget, like you need to clean your lens. And we're gonna be shooting with the back camera, which means that we can't see ourselves, but that's okay. This is my tripod for at home, like iPhone content. So I'm just gonna get this to the desired height, which is pretty much my height. I'm going to prop my phone in here. 
and I'm just gonna make sure that I have a good view of the bedroom. That's the vibe that we're gonna go for. Are we recording? There we go. All right. I'm gonna open this door a little bit more. Stay, stay, stay. Right now I'm working on the setup for my morning, like when I walk to the living room. Yeah, just really simple. Okay, so I just unboxed my Whole Foods groceries. So from Whole Foods, I just got chicken broth. Um, this one here, I really, really like. It's low sodium. I got some orzo because I'm kind of into orzo now. I'm going to make a cook with me and try to make it how my mom does it. Well, not really exactly how she does it. A little bit different, but we're going to try to make it for sure. Um, I got some um, dried pars parsley. And I got three ginger shots. And I don't know why these were like three something each. Ridiculous. I thought they were bigger for some reason, but shot means small. So I don't know why I didn't think of that. But pancake mix. I love this one from Whole Foods. You have to try it. It's so good. The batter is so good that you don't even need to put syrup on this. It's just really, really, really flavorful. And I just got some blueberries to eat with my pancakes. Also got some baby spinach. I got some 2% two, 2 milk, and I know someone's gonna comment like, you still drink dairy? Yes, I do. I still eat dairy, very much so. Um, however, in my coffee and stuff, I do use oat milk, but for cereal, I do need the regular milk. That's all I eat it for. And then, of course, I have like a, an ice cream sandwich here and there. Um, so I really do love these from Whole Foods, and I really do love a dessert here and there. I have a very severe sweet tooth. Um, I need sweets. And I have bananas because knowing me, I would eat this ice cream every day. But I have this just in case I have a sweet tooth. This is a healthier alternative. And I also got a good amount of fruits. These are mandarin oranges or tangerine. I don't know why they don't call them tangerine in America. But this is like, you know, they look orange and we can peel like this. Here, they're called clementines. I'm sorry, clementines or like a mandarin orange, I believe. But I always call these a tangerine. And every time I say the word tangerine, everyone's like, what are you talking about? All I got from Whole Foods, honestly. Oh, I'm sorry. Branzino. Because I want to make my Greek style fish and show you guys. So I got this. And yeah, pretty good. I'm just realizing that I'm pretty sure a lot of things were out of stock. That's why my grocery haul looks so little. So this is an overview of what my fridge looks like right now. So water, and I have some essentials on the floor for like room temperature water. Um, ginger shot, um, creamer. Um, if I ever want something like sweet to drink, I drink vitamin water. Um, ever, very rarely, not all the time. And I have eggs, scallion, thyme, peppers, blueberry, spinach. Um, to the back there is my chicken broth, my two things, my three things of brown rice, my 2% milk, my turkey bacon is in this little drawer here. My meats are in here. I don't freeze my meat, I don't like to, because I'm going to cook this either tonight, well likely tonight, or at least season them so it can go on marinate. And then this is the fish, so... Yeah. All right, guys, it's a couple of hours later. I went downstairs for a really quick workout. Now I'm making breakfast at lunchtime. It's actually after 2 now, 2.30 to be exact, and I'm just now eating. So, yeah, let's make an omelet. I just showered really quickly. I didn't even lotion yet. Um, yeah, let me also put my phone in my tripod because I want to use this clip for my morning routine, which I'm still filming at 2.30. All right, let me just get that going. Just push record, I really don't care. So I'm making kind of like an inside out omelet because I don't want the stuff in the egg, but rather fold it into the egg.
god. Ow! It actually burns so bad. Okay. Why are my omelets just not giving lately? I cannot get it right. That cook a little bit longer. But um, I'm gonna watch some TV as I eat. Um, I need to hurry up and eat also because it's like two o'clock and I still want to have dinner and I don't want to be full. I try not to eat after six, so like eating this at two thirty is annoying because I have to now make dinner by like five thirty. I'm sorry, I've been watching Pretty Little Liars on HBO Max. I'm just very uninterested like in a lot of TV shows right now. The last TV show I watched that I really enjoyed was The White Lotus, which can also be found on HBO. And like everything else on TV, I'm just like not very interested in. So yeah. So I'm just watching old shows such as Pretty Little Thing. All right, also I need to shave my legs. All right guys, so it's time for dinner. I'm just gonna start getting the ingredients um, prepped and ready. Um, but you're gonna need orzo for this dish. I get mine from Whole Foods, but you can also get the one by Barilla. It's, like a, it's basically a pasta, so it's sold everywhere. But orzo, um, this is my chicken broth. I do prefer this organic one that's low sodium from Whole Foods. Just kind of, you know, watch that aspect you're gonna need um, some bell peppers so one two um, you're also gonna need some onions um, scallion and thyme so let's get these vegetables prepped and ready we're not gonna need a lot of anything because we're making a very small portion that's probably too much red pepper but it's okay um, peppers, a, little, a little onion Okay, so it's kind of like got our portion together. So, okay. All right, so for peppers, we're gonna just cut this up. We're gonna dice it. Really dice, more like a, a mince. That is the prep. Now let's go on over to the stove. Go in with my chicken and I basically just season with the basics. I'll put the, the seasoning on the screen. I'm gonna have three pieces today because I really need the protein. Now we have the pan with the burn burn, the bun bun. I'm gonna go in with my 
with my peppers and onions and all of that good stuff. Gonna wake up that flavor that stuck to the pan before. And don't worry, this isn't like, you know, it's not burnt. It's just the seasoning sticking to the, the pan. Whoa, sorry. Um, but it's definitely not burnt. It's just all the flavor that we want our orzo to capture. And I just had an idea to add some spinach to the orzo. Um, just because I'm really trying to... I take it as a personal challenge to not let my spinach go bad every week, okay? So, <laughs> I try to incorporate spinach in a lot of different meals, and a little green never hurts anyone. So, yeah, just did that. Also, this is a good time for you to go in and season your orzo. You can put whatever you wanna put in it. So, pepper flakes, um, if you like your food spicy or hot. needs a lot more salt. <laughs> it's actually not salty at all. Let me try the chicken. Hmm, I'm actually surprised because the chicken is a little bit salty. Because I use jerk on it. And we're just gonna, you know, comb through it. So we're doing these motions here. Just making sure that it's not sticking. And I know at this point you're thinking like, okay, I'm gonna need more water, I'm gonna need more broth because it's not cooked yet. You're gonna taste it and you're gonna realize that it's not cooked yet. But don't add any water. Just let it go on, cook, comb through it. Because the last thing you want is your orzo to be gooey like this. And you don't want it to be like, you know, too... Yeah, you don't want that. I'm gonna allow it, allow it, sorry. Allow it to dry out. Similar to like when you're cooking, you know, like rice and stuff and you allow it to kind of steam that those, that, that final leg. That's what you're gonna be doing. All right, we're looking good. We're just gonna go in and you know continue to comb, just so we can get as much moisture out as possible. And on to coffee number two. Um, but I really wanted to get started on filming for the day. I'm gonna start off with my makeup routine. We're in this top that I did pick up from Zara. And what's funny about this top is I, one of my biggest insecurities about my body is my armpit area. Because number one, I have this like little pigmentation thing on this area, I don't know what it's from. And also these little folds, I do not like it. But I decided to buy these tops nonetheless because because this year I'm gonna do more of the things that really make me feel uncomfortable because the fact that I'm just like, you know, like insecure about it, it's just so silly. So yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. But I'm gonna fill my makeup routine now. I am gonna be using these new products from MAC. Well, not it's, it's not make, makeup, it's skin prep things, um, stuff. So I really wanna try them out. So I'm just gonna take them out of the box. Ow, ow. I'm gonna take them out of the boxes. I'm gonna try them out. Because I know this is what formulated with Japanese peony, da, 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 da. it's a serum. I'm definitely, like I really wanna try them out because like skin prep is so important and I don't really have a skin prep routine. But this might very well be my, you know, my routine. So this is the Skin Canvas Balm. Then this is the, what is this? Fresh, oh, it was a cleansing oil. Okay, so this is meant to like clean off your makeup. 
um, prep and oh, they sent me Fix Plus. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. This is a primer. Okay. I'm gonna try all of these today. Well, all of what I can try right now. So yeah, I'm gonna try this out. Okay, so I'm gearing up for my videos now. So I definitely will be catching you guys later. Um, I'll check in then. I I think I'm home all day today. It's Friday, yeah. So the most I might do is go to the mall to return stuff at Zara. But if I end up doing that, then I'll obviously pop in. But for now, it's gonna be a filming day for me. So we will talk later, okay? All right, first video is done, which was the makeup routine. And it looks good on the computer, so I'm really excited. I've been trying to film makeup routines for the longest time and it just was not coming out good, but I'm so excited. Um, so we can check that off of our list. I do have to do one more thing though, um, which is shoot the close-ups of each product because the, the camera I shot the makeup routine on, which is the Canon G7X, it doesn't have the best like autofocus. Like for example, if I put it in the frame, it doesn't like, you know, give you guys that like, you know, like, you see this? Like it's not even like, fo it doesn't focus very well. So that's why I don't, I need to do like close-up shots of each product. So I'm gonna do that. And I might film that on like my bigger camera um, just so it looks better. And I also need to take a thumbnail photo before my face starts to get like sweat, you know, like dewy and start sweating out. So yeah, first video is done though. We just need to capture the thumbnail and I think we're good. We can move on to video number two. I'm feeling amazing. I haven't felt this way about a filming day in a long time because I've been so unmotivated. But I also think it's because I've had two cups of coffee so far. So I'm just feeling like I'm on my demon time. Like I just want to film, 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 film. I'm not even going to make breakfast. I'm just going to keep going until I burn out or crash, which is so bad to say, but I'm just going to do it. But I'm also not feeling hungry anyways, um, but I will need to eat eventually because I do need to take all my vitamins and they need to be taken with food. So yeah, let's shoot the close-ups, um, you know, clean up this area and get started for video number two because I am back and I'm feeling great and I'm so excited to start uploading content again for you guys consistently because I've missed you guys and you guys tell me all the time how much you've missed me. My camera is literally on its last leg. We're upside down right now. It's like the viewfinder keeps like tipping over. Lad, listen, I've replaced this camera probably three times already. Like this is my third Canon G7X Mark II. The little screws keep escaping and I have to fix it and then the lens starts to like act funny and I have to replace it. Don't play with me right now. Don't play with me right now. But I'm done shooting and um, successful day I think. I shot two videos and some reels slash TikTok. I just need to edit them and post them. I do a lot of filming, but not a lot of posting. Um, I'm wearing this shirt that I got in a PR package from Seed. Um, it, has, it has bacteria written on the front. I love sweatshirts like this, especially in this kind of font. And I love this color. I don't wear a lot of um, this evergreen shade, but I think I need to. It's very, um, it looks really good with gold, one. And it looks very good with black, two. And I love that fact. So I really do love this. It's very cute. Oh, on the back it has a cycle. Um, I'm working with Seed this month to promote their probiotics, which I am personally obsessed with. I've been using it for a short time and I was kind of like hesitant about talking about it because I've been using it for such a little time. But in such a little time, I feel so much difference in my tummy area. I suffer from like, Okay, I don't care. I was gonna say TMI, but you know, I suffer from like excessive bloating. Like I bloat from eating one rice grain. My belly's bloated and my tummy just always feels uncomfortable. And then also I don't go to the bathroom and do number two like regularly. I feel like you should go at least once a day. And for me, it's like a couple of days. And I just know that's not healthy. And as a result, I just blow and I just feel like heavy. But since taking the probiotics, it's like, I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. You know what I mean? I just feel lightweight. I feel like I can move freely. My tummy feels comfortable now. And I just, 
I just love when my body just starts to feel good and also my energy level if you haven't noticed is just way better now like I'm not as sluggish and lethargic anymore and I'm just I just feel so much better in my body so what I've been doing differently is just drinking more water going to bed earlier so my bedtime is 10 o'clock but i usually fall asleep around 10 30 or 11 but regardless i'm in bed earlier no longer with the 12 o'clock one o'clock two o'clock thing like no go to bed early make sure that you're getting proper rest and just eating like balanced meals and not a lot of like foolishness i've stopped doing that also um and then the probiotic i don't know if i said that already but water the probiotic getting adequate rest and just like really eating like balanced diet like trying to incorporate again like vegetables into my meals but yeah i'm gonna eat lunch now i'm gonna eat my orzo i have leftover orzo let me take you guys off of the tripod i have leftover orzo that i that i made the other day i don't want to waste it and i want to eat something different tonight for dinner i'm just gonna finish this up i'm not gonna eat the entire thing because i don't really need the, the entire thing but yeah i'm just gonna eat mainly the chicken not too much orzo. For dinner tonight, I think I'm gonna make chicken again with mac and cheese. Okay, I'm pretty much done. Yesterday night, I did do what I said I was gonna do. So, you know, sat up, chilled here, and I ordered pizza from this place in Hoboken. And um, it was really good, but I barely ate it. I got the, um, the vodka pizza and the margarita, I barely ate it. And this morning, I woke up with like a whole new mindset. Like, you know, this is the reason why DoorDash is just not for me, because I don't eat like this typically, and I wasted my money. So I woke up this morning and I decided that I'm going to start cooking a bunch of stuff just to kind of have ready to eat. So it's 9 a.m. right now and I'm prepping some chicken here, which I'm going to use to make um, chicken fried rice. So I'm just cooking the chicken now. Because, yeah, that's ridiculous. And also, you know, pizza was not the best choice for a meal. Since I'm trying to watch what I'm eating, take care of my body, make better decisions. So I'm just gonna make my own food. Like I know how to do very well and um, just have stuff ready to eat. Let's get ready for a girl's night out and also to save my best friend who is currently on a horrible first date. So let's get dressed and go save her. So I definitely wanna wear this top that I got from Zara. It's like a really nice cut out top. I don't know if I wanna wear shorts with it. It is winter, but I kinda wanna wear shorts. These really cute like dress shorts from Aritzia. I'm just worried that the black won't match. Why does this shirt have a little spot on it? Or maybe this skirt, I don't know. But let's put it on and see what we think. This is the top for right now. I really love this cutout detail. So this is the skirt. Looks good, right? I don't know. So this is the skirt. <laughs> and this is the shorts. I think I like this option better, so we're gonna wear this. Now, moving on. <laughs> For shoes, I could wear these like shorter style boots, which would definitely show off more leg. Or for more coverage, go with these Stuart Weitzman. I'm gonna try on both and let you decide. I love these boots so much. They're so hot. So hot. <laughs> and I have these uh, boots from Shoots. A little bit shorter, but I really love the shiny leather. 
that it has. Oh. So yeah, the, this is the option. This one or this one. I'm definitely gonna go with this one. I don't even know why I'm asking. Because there's a lot of skin out. My Kuzali body oil, just to kind of add some shine. Can't be looking ashy out here. Mm -mm. Do that. <laughs> Rub it in. I'm really hurrying. I'm coming, best friend. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna take my pull-in bag and I'm gonna put the strap on at some point. Definitely gonna wear my watch from JBW, which is so beautiful. Let's put her on. What hand do you guys wear your watches on, left or right? Perfect. All right. For coat, I'm wearing this little coat from Aritzia. Has a little tie waist, but never mind that. For fragrance, I'm gonna do a Baccarat and YSL Libre Intense combo. I love these two together. Mm hmm. Yep. I love this so much. All right. We are off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hi. We got her guys. Mission complete. Guess who's here? We went out last night and we made a really funny TikTok because we're on a date, went to save her, yada, yada, yada. I couldn't even vlog you guys. I was on a mission. So I was kind of preoccupied. But we're gonna do a little follow up video on TikTok. Make sure you follow me on TikTok. Okay, I'm thinking I wanna do a filter, but I don't know if it's gonna give us two. This is a fairy, I'll make a one. <laughs> First of all, being that we're doing this in our lab. Oh wait, we both have filters. We're using a filter. We're but using a filter. Are we gonna have a mirror? Because how am I gonna do my makeup when I like that makeup one? Ready, you're gonna look at them. You know my. Oh, you can't. Yes, you don't figure out your casting. You don't figure out your casting. Can you at least see yourself? I can see myself here, but you want me to do my makeup? No, 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 no. They are just here with us. I feel like the blacks don't match, and it really bothers me. Maybe we're not in the coolest um, sunscreen. Does put a little razzle dazzle. I probably should put some sunscreen on. Not so much. I don't know. I'm not one of these influencer girlies. All right, lathering up. This already feels like too much. Give me, give me, give me, give me. I just, you know, let my melanin burn, you know. <laughs> Way over the bridge. Do you know my stomach? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually going out for a hot pot. <clears throat> okay, we need to use the restroom and be right back. And then yeah. we're gonna start. Get ready with us for hot pot as Renee tells us about her horrible date last night. <laughs> so first off, everyone is saying like, wow, she has to save her friend and she's taking all this time. Please tell them I came at the perfect time. She did, she did, because if she came a moment sooner, it would have been uncomfortable for everybody. <laughs> no, I know they heard that. Like, I know. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Renee, you're on your butt. My friend, what are you Lord. Yeah. Renee, that does sound good. That does sound good. No, it was seem like I'm not a good host. If you want fruit plate this morning. I've been starving me. I've been starving all morning. You know what time it is, y'all? I feel like I'm doing my makeup so like heavy for no reason. We're going to hot pot. Blush looks so. No, I love it. And it the thing so, is, like, guys, and she literally does not like wear blush. I never wear blush. That looks I'm so deadly. good on you. This this one's called a rich bitch. I'm gonna give you some too. You see this? I'm just joking. What it is is the PTSD. From Have what? you ever had the Caribbean mother do your hair? Hey Siri, what's the temperature? It's 50 degrees right now. Because <laughs> why do they have these big jackets on? <laughs> what is going on? Oh, I can't. Is it global warming? Like, what? Where's the cold from? Like, where's the cold? Where's the sweatshirt January. and like, literally January? This is scary. I think this is more like it. Get ready with us for hot pot as we listen to Renee tell us 
why her date was so horrible last night and also for those of you saying like wow you're getting ready while your friend needs your help she wasn't in any real danger no. right no you were just, just get like, me out of here yeah <laughs> yeah exactly so what was a major red flag for you that caused you to say octavia come and get me here right now so it was very salesy you know kind of like who was selling a car but he's the car mm. you know so um just for full transparency here when i got there i actually sat down at the table with them and ordered a drink and kind of just grilled them a little bit try to get him get to know him a little bit better and it's very much that i asked him what he liked about her and i kid you not nothing everything was just her skin like her nice hair and i'm just like nothing about her mind her heart like nothing bear in mind this is not a first date I feel like I'm doing my makeup so like heavy for no reason. We're going to hot pot. <laughs> but yeah, back to what we were saying. So that was a major red flag. And also the fact that he kept saying how safe she makes him feel. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're thinking like maybe he meant it in like an emotional way. No. no. I feel like he meant it. <laughs> no. I don't have to worry about nothing. My girl will protect me. But while we're on a topic of dating, let them know what your type is. Definitely funny. Like, obviously, you have to be serious, but like, not all the time, you know? I get that. And um, I like tall. I mean, I'm short, so that's not really too tough. Okay. Um, she literally hates Gosh. wearing blush, so I'm gonna blush her up like myself. All right, but be gentle. You Shut already it lined it back. <laughs> Shut up, Mara. Smile a little. She thinks I'm so rough, but she I'm is. not. You're just so sensitive. Look, look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> Do you see? I'm just joking. What do you think? I like it. Told ya. Okay, let's do our eyes. Okay, let's finish things off. Hey Siri, what's the temperature? It's 50 degrees right now. <laughs> All right, that's pretty much it. Let's go to Hot Pot because we barely a ball out in here. A ball. We just had a really like quick look at the menu and oh my goodness. I'm about to tear this hot pot up. The way I go eat in there, I go. Oh, that. Oh, oh, 